welcome to Life on Turkey Lane. I'm so glad you're here. Um, tonight, I wanna to talk about this cleaning product that of course, I think we all have heard so much about. Um, I finally found some at the Ross store the other night and um, thought I would pick it up, see, give it a try. Um, it's the pink stuff. I don't know if you guys have heard of that or not. I'm sure, like I said, you have. And um, I found it at Ross for $5.99. I don't think that's too bad of a price. I mean, um, now I know Dollar Tree has a pink um, cleaner stuff that's supposed to be like a takeoff of this. Now I've heard that it doesn't work at all. Um, my Dollar Tree does not have that. I think I have seen some of the original pink stuff at our Dollar Tree before and I didn't pick any up. Um, but anyway, I thought, you know, I have such a hard time. I have a glass top cook stove and I have such a hard time getting it clean. Um, and of course you don't wanna use like SOS pads and you know, very abrasive things on a glass top cook stove because it could potentially scratch or ruin it. And um, so, <clears throat> and then also a couple of my pans, even though they're only a little over a year old, Andy cooks with very high heat. And um, he does primarily most of the cooking around here, believe it or not. And uh, he usually does that before he goes to work in the daytime. And um, the bottoms of my pans have lots of problems because of that high temperature that he cooks at. So anyway, I wanna test this pink stuff and see maybe if it will help me clean my glass cooktop stove um, better than what my regular clean, usually I put a, like vinegar and baking soda on it and let it sit for a while and I use magic erasers and try to get all of it off. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't come as clean as I like. And I have on occasion, shame on me, used um, those little razor blades that you can get from the Dollar Tree in the tool department to kind of scrape some of the burnt on stuff off without scratching the stove top. Um, so, but anyway, Let's give this a try. I'm interested to see how it's gonna work. And if what everybody says is true um, about how it works on their appliances and stuff. So let's see if I can get this open here. Okay, and I think you just there we go, you just pull the top off. And uh, there's what it looks like in the container. Now, somebody I saw said that this is supposed to be an all natural cleaner without chemicals, but in order to find out what all is in it, you have to go to their little website and you have to enter the barcode number off of your container. And I did not do that because I didn't have the container with me when I went to their little website. So I don't know exactly what's in it. I've heard it's supposed to be all natural ingredients, but um, I, that is yet to be found out. So I believe what you're supposed to do is just take a bit of the cleaner on your rag, not a whole lot, just a bit on your rag, and then you're supposed to rub it on the surface for just a few, several seconds or whatever. Let me get this lid out of the way. Now you're not supposed to rub really hard, especially on like these glass top surfaces because it could potentially scratch. But I did watch one lady who says she uses it on hers and has never had a problem. So anyway, I'm just taking my cloth and um, I'll be honest with you, after putting this on here, I don't feel like it's doing anything more than what my magic eraser does. So um, now the rag is kind of dirty and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other burners here I'll let that sit there for just a, a few seconds or so. Okay. 
And uh, yeah, I will be honest, I am not impressed with this. Now this burner seems to be doing a little better maybe. Okay, so that burner did clean up pretty good. But this burner doesn't really get used quite as much as our other one. So let me go back over here and I'm just gonna dampen this again. See if this takes any more up. And like I said, Andy really cooks on very high heat, which I don't like, but he does it anyway. Much to my chagrin, he, he does it and continues to do it. And he is never going to change. I've been married to him for uh, 33 years. And um, he's just never going to change. So there's no way. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, just dampen my rag a little bit and rinse it out. And wipe these two burners down. And then I might go ahead and give the back burners a little scrub. still seeing quite a bit of stuff there um, okay so let me go ahead and do this back burner over here this one gets used more than the other small burners So I wouldn't say that it doesn't do anything, but I believe my little magic erasers do better than that. Um, so let me get a magic eraser. So I think my magic erasers will do a little better on the cook stop top than these. this does. I mean, this did okay. I just don't think it removed enough of the dirt to merit the, the cost of it and, you know, uh, the name of it basically is what you're paying for. But I am gonna go ahead and try the bottom of this skillet. Let me do it over here on this counter so I don't mess up the glass top stove. Just put a little bit more. Okay, now I will say that it brought up quite a bit of that um, um, cooked on, baked on stuff there. Um, but let's get a, I'm gonna get a magic eraser and an SOS pad. Let me clean the gunk out of my pink stuff here real quick. And we're gonna try those in comparison. Now these are not, these are the generic magic erasers from Dollar Tree, but I think they still work okay. Um, so this one has the blue sponge on that side and then it's got the magic eraser on that side. So I'm just gonna wipe down this burner right here. And while there really wasn't a ton of stuff on here this time, um, and we did just wash it down with the pink stuff. It may not get a ton of stuff off of here. But let's just see what it did get. Okay, so not a lot, but it did get some more up that the pink stuff left behind. 
try this over here too. Okay, so like I said, not a lot, but it did get up a little bit of the stuff that the pink stuff left behind. So I'm gonna get a microfiber towel and just dry that off. Okay, so overall, I still see some spots on the burner in a couple places, um, but the pink stuff did not remove and neither did the, um, the um, magic eraser. Actually, there's quite a lot of stuff around this burner that neither one of these products removed. And that's the thing about glass top stoves. I do love them because they are in some ways easier to the clean, um, but they do stain up or get stuff on them that just won't hardly come off. And so, um, but overall, I get my stove pretty clean and um, that's really all I can ask for. Okay, so now how about this skillet? Let's see, I've got an SOS pad here with the soap in it. I'm just gonna wet that. And then I'm just gonna go along the surface. Gotta use just a little bit of force. That's one thing, the pink stuff, I didn't really have to use a lot of force to do anything to it. So honestly, I don't think the SOS pad did any better. Okay, so honestly, I don't think the SOS pad did any better. So I would say on this one, the pink stuff is a win. On the stove, I really don't think it's that great, to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, some people swear by it, say it's great. And um, if they found something that works great for them, I'm happy for them. Um, but for me, I'll probably just go ahead and stick. I'll use this up, of course, but I'll probably just go ahead and stick to the cleaning method I already use um, because I don't think this has done any better of a job. Okay, so there you have it guys, um, the results of my pink stuff challenge. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad cleaning product. Now it did do pretty good on the bottom of my pan. I will say that, no, it did not get everything off. Um, I think to get everything off of it by now, 
I would probably need to be using like an oven cleaner or something like that. And I'm talking about a good oven cleaner, not the dollar cheapie. Um, but uh, so for the pan, this worked pretty good. For the stove top, I won't say it didn't work. It just didn't work any better than what I already do using the vinegar and baking soda and uh, magic erasers. So it may be easier because it's just one product, but I would still have to go back with the magic erasers anyway. So there you go. Thank you for joining me here tonight at Life on Turkey Lane, listening to my review of this pink stuff. Um, it's pretty popular nowadays. You used to have to order it online. And like I said, I found this container at my local Ross store. I say local, which is about 30 miles away from us, but that's closest that we have. Um, so anyway, if you're looking for this product, you might be able to find it at one of those like stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, stores like that. Um, I don't know if they carry it at Walmart. I've never actually looked. So, um, or you can order it on Amazon. Either way, be blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.